Hi everyone, welcome to Colouring with Kay and thank you for joining me today. So in this video I'm going to film my entire coloured pencil collection and um, yeah this is an updated video for 2023 because I have done one of these videos before I think once maybe or twice I cannot remember exactly so yeah I'm gonna I'm you know I'm gonna share what I have and where I can I will share the swatches let you know what I think about them because I'm going to film this I think um in in sections I mean it'll be one video for you but I'm going to do it in sections because otherwise I'll get a little bit too tired so yeah Kitty says hello again and let's get started so I'm going to start with these um, I've had these for quite a while so these are the Progresso um, woodless pencils so these are woodless pencils and you can see that I have used them they are quite cheap they're not expensive um, when I got them anyway oops so yeah they come in these little trays in this cardboard box and they are by Kohinoor and um, they're very very pigmented um, let's just see if I can whoops whoops it is stuff falling all over I don't even know what fell behind there but anyway right so let me just get this piece of paper here so they are really pigmented that is one thing about them I can't show you a swatch because I haven't actually got a swatch to show you um, I never actually swatched these pencils which is rather naughty but yeah they are very very pigmented I have used them uh, on the odd page here and there they don't really get used that much do I like them I do like them that's why I haven't got rid of them they are really pigmented and they are nice I just they are really quite heavy you know to not heavy heavy but they are I don't know they're just the whole pack actually feels quite heavy but yeah they're not so heavy that they'll weigh your hand down quite a lot but yeah they are very they are nice and I do use them on occasion so yeah there's only a set of 24 I think so yeah there's, there's a set of 24 so those are them and then they were purchased like quite a while ago and then I've got these which are the woodless they're just called triangle squared 36 colored pencils again they come in these trays and they have this whoops, black barrel there is no number or like any name distinguishing feature and they are again very pigmented um, lovely pencils rarely used them but um, I do like them so these are the colours again I do apologise I do not have a swatch because I never actually swatched them but yeah I think at some point I need to swatch these because they are nice the woodless pencils are nice and they're not particularly expensive either so they are something that you know you could investigate I guess if you if you were interested in finding I don't know what the prices are the recent prices are but um yeah those are them okay so I'm, I'm basically starting with just some uh, I don't know some some pencils that I don't really use too often these are the Cray Art 120 pencils so these I do have a swatch for so now these were ones that I purchased a while ago and I did really like these um, when I say did I do <laughs> I do really like them um, they are nice pencils they sort of remind me of the, the, the you know the budget the budget brands and they I have got a swatch for them I use them rarely but I think that's mainly because I've got so many sets oh look look what I did I actually just 
put this down a bit. Um, I actually wrote all the names out and were ready to swatch but I haven't actually swatched them. So this must have been quite a while ago because I don't even remember doing this. I uh, actually presumed that I'd swatched them so I do apologise for that. But they are lovely pencils and um, I really like them. They're I just, I guess, I just don't use them because I've got, I've got so many brands of pencils, but they are nice. They're smooth to apply. They remind me of the Arteza Expert pencils, which I, I actually do really like a lot. Um, but yeah, this this smooth lay down. They blend really nice. Some lovely, lovely colours. If you see here, you've got quite a lot of purples. Um, which is really nice and they do need a swatch because I find that with the cheaper sets you do you know the colour the um, barrel colour doesn't always accurately match the the colours that 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 you've got there so you've got to swatch them out but yeah they are some nice they are nice pencils nice budget pencils so those are the Creart uh, next one we have is this big pencil case and in here I have stored my 80 um, Brute Funa I think it's the pastel and the neon set although I don't think it's marketed as the pastel and the neon set now I think I do have a swatch of these 80 Brute Funas the quality is not particularly good um, I do actually have issues with them breaking and weird stuff going on with them but there they are, there, that's the swatch I'm just trying to get the light a bit less bright so that you can actually see the swatch okay so yeah that's the, you know you can see there's pl pl plenty of pale colours there lots of pastel shades and uh, neon shades as well which I do like actually um, for some pages I think they work really well are they worth getting I in my opinion my humble opinion um, believe so because I think there's there's certain colors in here that you don't find in many other sets um, and I like the combination of neon and pastel shades um, to add to my other sets you know just when I want to add something uh, different but like I said the quality is not good look at that it's not it's not particularly good but they are very cheap on Amazon well they were when I got it I think they'll have gone up a little bit but still should be quite affordable but yeah the the quality is not great but I would still purchase them and then these are the Pastelos with Astra by Astra um, that quite a lot of us went off and purchased have I got the swatch for those let's have a check um, mm, I don't think I have actually yeah I have you have 27 and 28 uh, sometimes I wonder whether actually having all my um, swatches in a book is, is good because you have to turn the page over rather than see it all on one page but I cannot think of doing all of this again I mean it does serve its purpose quite well still but so that's alright anyway this is the Astra Pastelo pencils the 50 set they are quite nice um, they're not my favourite I have to I have to confess that they're not my favourite. I just don't think they're as pigmented as um, some of the other brands of pastel pencils. They are marketed towards kids, I think. So, you know, that might be why. But, um, you know, they're, they're reasonable. But I don't, I don't think they're worth the price that I paid to get them over here from, I can't remember which European. I think it was a Poland or something that they came from. I did uh, put number stickers on to sort of identify each pencil um, but yeah I mean there's lots of pastel sets you can get these days anyway so those are them and then I've got just some metallic pencils here I know there's many people not into metallic so these are just some I think these are 
if you can read it, Spectrum Spectrum Noir pencils, and then yeah, the Spectrum Noir, and then this one here is Marco, a few Marco metallic pencils. I don't think I have a swatch of these. They were just some little sets that I purchased, I think, and I just put them into here. So this is like my pastel neon metallic um, pencil case, but of course. It doesn't house all my pastel uh, colours because I got more, you see, so got more in my collection. So these are the colour year pencils. So these were sent to me, the Imagino pencils, um, to share on the channel. And I do have a switch swatch of these and I really do like these, I have to say. Um they are really nice pencils. On certain papers, they work really well. Um, I liked how they work on... Which book is it? I recently was colouring in. I can't remember, but... I think it was the Japanese colouring page books. And the, these pencils worked so well on there. And I really like some of these unique colours here, like these two. Beautiful. Um, I wish there was a bigger set than 72, um, but yeah, I, I really like this Colour Your Imagine All set and I have found myself actually using them a fair bit. Um, i just pull, pull this light a bit further back, that's it, so it's not too in your face. So yeah, these are the colours, nice um, pencils. I don't think they're as soft as um, other pencils. I personally think they are not hard not like you know hard hard they they have a smooth layer down but um i wouldn't i wouldn't call them soft i think they're like softer than polychromos um but i don't think they're as soft as say artex or arteza expert but they are lovely they do blend really nice just because they're not soft doesn't mean you know they don't work well they do work really nicely and also they blend really nicely so these are the these are the colors and then turn over the page for the rest of them but yeah some really nice colors um i particularly like this periwinkle lavender gray and this lavender reminds me of the ones that have been discontinued in the prismacolor premiere um, some of those but yeah lovely pencils and, and really nice to use on some papers I think I think with pencils it's all to do with the paper isn't it the if you've got the right paper the pencil can work like a dream it depends which it's just a matter of finding which pencils work with which paper so that's the colour you um, I really do like these pencils just need to use them more and I have been actually using them more recently rather than leaving them on the shelf um now i have been doing this just a little show you i have been trying i mean i've not added to it recently but where i'm looking at the paper in each book and then the type of pencils and i'm giving it a score out of 10 so this is going to take me a bit of time but the things i'm looking at are things like how smooth is the lay down so this is obviously very um subjective um because it's it's my view and how I find the pencil and of course we've all got different views on it how smooth is the lay down blendability layering ability pigment intensity on the paper less hard work on hands so basically a measure of how less you have to make an effort to get the pigment on the paper and personal enjoyment really of using it on the paper so as a, as a mix of all of that, that's what my mark out of 10 is based on. So I'm working on that and it will take me some time. But at least I've started. I just need to keep up with it. So here is the next thing. So in this pencil case, I've just got a load of random pencils, really. Um, so I have these Stabilos. I don't think I've got a swatch of the Stabilos. I do apologise, I'm quite um, like a opposite of professional this. <laughs> so um, I haven't got a swatch of these. I do, it just shows me that the pencils that I still need to swatch out. So these are uh, just called Stabilo Originals and 
The reason why I got these is I wanted a pencil which had a really um, narrow width so the core was quite narrow so you can get into really really fine detailed areas on detailed colouring pages and I knew this uh, prisoners had the very thins but I'd heard all sorts of issues with very thins in that they break a lot and you know the usual stuff so um, I ended up getting these so these are I mean, I got these about five, six years ago, I think, so quite a long time ago. But yeah, they are lovely and pigmented. They're nice pigmented pencil. Um, not hard, hard, but, you know, I'd say medium, medium hardness. So not, not as hard as polychromos. Uh, I would say a little bit softer than those. Uh, but a smooth lay down. And I think it's only a 24 set of those. So they're quite nice. And I particularly like to use them... In the detail colouring books so you know um books with a lot of fine detail i like these pencils these stabilos i also like the what are they called the 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 steadler the steadler ones i can't remember what they're called the steadler ergos off that's it they're really they've got a really fine narrow core so it's good to use them in detailed areas as well so I like them and I also like these I don't know if many um, you've seen these but these are called the Lyra Groove Slim and I really like these I've always liked these they're quite a hard pencil I'd say the lead is probably a hard as or harder than the Polychromos but they are very pigmented they're beautiful pencils so even though there's a hard lead you don't have to actually make much of a there might be actually slightly i'd say about the same as polychromos um in hardness but they they're so pigmented you don't have to press hard with these at all they're so nice and i really like them unfortunately they only come in a set of 24 although you can get a set of 40 48 and you get two sets of each but they've got some gorgeous colours like this one is one of my absolute favourites. I'm going to show you a swatch because actually I have swatched these. Uh, just bear with me, got a phone call. Okay so back again, uh, sorry about that. Um, so this is the swatch for the Lyra Groove Slim 24. So these were from Amazon UK so you can see the colours, I mean they're fairly standard colours but they just blend so well I've noticed and they're very pigmented. I love this colour 054, 047 but 054 is my absolute favourite colour um, <clears throat> in this set at least. It's this one here so you can see it's been used quite a lot so there's that one. I do really like using them and again particularly on books which have a lot of fine detail I like using these Lyra Groove Slim and these Stabilo, uh, it's just called Stabilo Originals really, and the the Ergo Soft because the core is so narrow that you can get into the you know small spaces. Um, and then in here I've got my, I think it's just a the seventy two set the set that I bought like years ago. <coughs> excuse me the 72 set of the Arteza Expert I really do like the Arteza Expert and also it's, some people are not too keen on them but I really do like them so have I got the 72 set swatch I'm not sure I've got I've got the 120 set swatch um, but I can't find the 72 one probably didn't do it because I thought you know I thought about the 120 but anyway there are lovely colours there's really nice pinks in this set so what I've noticed with well not what I've noticed but what I found with coloured pencils uh, sets is that you know the certain colours I'll go certain sets I'll go to for certain colours so for example if I want really nice pinks purples I do t tend to gravitate towards my Arteza Expert but if I want a really dark colours, like for example really dark blues or dark purples or dark greens, then my Caran d'Ache Luminance 
<coughs> and Derwent Lightfast are, are sets that provide that. There's not many sets I can find with really dark colours. I might be wrong. If you know of any, let me know. Um, but yeah, those. this is just like a like random pencils. That's like an old set of 72 that I, that, that I first purchased. Um, so that's that one. And then next, this is one of my travel, you know, holiday travel cases actually. Um, and I have just recently taken my the set of prisoners that I take with, away with me. I've taken them out, and what I've done is I've organised them. In fact, I'll show you because I've just I'm just in the process of doing it. Well, I just did it yesterday, to be honest. Um, in this pencil case here, I've put my Prismas that I've purchased open stock and my Prismas from my old 100 and, were they 100? No, 72 set. My old 72 set and open stock Prismas in here. So these are like my my spares. These are all, well, yeah, the spares in a set that I could put together because my original Prisma set, some of them are getting really, really small like really small now so this is like there for me to go to I am still missing colours this is not a full 150 set spare um, it's just the ones that, that, I've, that I've got really so those are them <coughs> and then in here this is my 60 polychromous set um, again I'm not sure I've got a swatch of them because I've got the 120 polys which I did do a swatch for <coughs> um, no, I don't have the 60, I'm afraid. Yeah, so, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Got a dodgy throw again. So, yeah, I've got 60 polys in here. I do have, um, I think, a couple of open stock pencils in here as well like this one isn't in the 60 set this is the not this one yeah this might be actually the brown ochre and then the, this one definitely is not in the set um this is the green gold so this i did by open stock but i really this is one of my favorite colors in the polys and i added it to this to take on holiday and, and then i've also got my 24 set um with maybe another one added from here and there from an open stock one this is my 24 set of ink tents uh, the original 24 so that's like my travel set that's not the only one i actually take with me though i do take another pencil case with me it's this one so this is my other holiday set of um pencils that i take with me so these are like pencils that I don't take abroad they actually um, you know in different places in the UK so for example you know the Lake District etc Scotland or Wales places like that so the pencils are basically traveling with me and not, not you know elsewhere um, so I've got the 12 pastel Holbeins which I love so they're in my holiday set I've got the 24 um, chromaflow set so the Chromaflow 24 set, I have got a swatch of those. Actually, no, that's drawing pencils. Mm. No, I don't have... Oh, yeah, I do. 58. I thought I didn't then, but I do. So these are the 24 Chromaflow pencils, which look lovely. 24 is just too small a set, though. From, in my view, I think, I mean, people that are more skilled than me, that might be enough, but I, I would like more pencils than that. But yeah, there's a 24 set. And then in here, I've also got the 72 set of the Arteza Experts, because I really do like them. And together with some open stock favourites, like this one, I think. Um, the Oob Purple. So I did buy a few open stocks. I've got them there. I think this one as well is an open stock one, which is Periwinkle Blue. I'm not sure if it's in the original 72 set. And then I've got the beautiful Artex pencils as well, which is 
the other pencils I take so as you can see I take quite a lot of pencils with me um, the Artex 72 set I think I have got a swatch of that right, 102 so I'll just show you that very quickly but yeah I do really like the Artex pencils um, I don't like them on all the paper I've tried but um, on the majority of papers I find they work really nicely and I do really like the colours there's certain colours in here which I actually really love this one where is it let's uh, see if I can find it oh no it might not be in the 72 it might be in the yeah it's in the 120 set it's this where is it? It's somewhere here. I think it's called Pigeon Blue. There it is. Pigeon Blue, absolutely favourite. One of my favourites. Cadet Blue, I really like. Turquoise Grey, so absolutely gorgeous colours in the 120 set. The 72 set is, is you know, your usual sort of colours. And like, there's quite a few that are similar in um, colour names, at least, to the Prismas. So I do quite like using the Artex, um, but I mean the pencils that I'd say for me work um, the most consistently uh, are the Polychromos, the, when I say consistently I mean that you know on most paper um, I like them, I'd say the Artis Expert, the Polychromos, the Prismacolors, um, the light fast and the uh, luminance those um, and I'd say probably also the Holbein really um, but yeah I am quite liking the chroma flows recently but those are my other travel set and then I have another case here I really like this marble case this is another one where I've um, got a whole range of different pencils so these are um, I don't think I've ever swatched these because they've upset me because they break so easily I mean if you think prismas break these these break if you look at them incorrectly so these are the Marco Renoir I never swatched these because like I said they just break so easily they are they're soft pencils they are really soft and they are beautiful don't get me wrong they're soft they're very pigmented they blend beautifully but look at this look at the state on this here look I was sharpening from that side and it was breaking away and then I thought let me be clever and sharpen from the other side and unfortunately it just just didn't work I mean I think I still need to swatch them because do you know what it's just try to use them out they, they are lovely and soft but they put me off because every time I sharpen them they just love breaking I mean look at this light color here so they're called Marco Renoir I think this is 36 set if I'm not mistaken um, they They've got colour number on. Yeah, they've got colour number. I don't think they've got a name though. It says colour. Th yeah, I mean, yes, yeah, so these are the numbers here at the end. So this is 09. So I don't think they've got names. I've never actually looked for these online again, but maybe I just got a bad batch. But they are, it's such a shame when you've got beautiful pencils like these, with, with which are soft and lovely to use, but when you sharpen them, they upset you because they break. And then I have these, is it 24, what was it, 36, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Right, 36, yeah. So these are the 36, um... Faber Castell black edition pencils. So I put these are ones that I bought quite a while back, a few years back. Put numbers on them just to identify them. And um have I got a recent swatch of them? I'm just using my most recent swatch book really. I don't think I have, and I don't think I will be swatching these. 
Reason being, only yesterday I've ordered the 100 set. Now, they are lovely pencils. They are soft, pigmented, very nice. Um, only thing I'd say is that I paid, I think I paid more than I was particularly happy paying, but I've been after the 100 set for such a long time. Um, and you couldn't get them in the UK, so when they did arrive on Amazon UK, which they have just very recently, I just thought, I'm just going to go ahead and buy them. So I did, um, because I know I'll use them, and it, it's a nice, you know, good size set of 100, um, and yeah. So yeah, I was naughty, and I bought them. So yeah, lovely pencils, soft. Again, I don't think the pencils that will work on every paper is the type of, you know, the right paper. So, for example, I found that on the Japanese colouring books, the Yururi sketchbooks, it works, they work really well. I've also heard as well, I think it was Imogen who said that they work quite nicely in the Rita Berman books. So that's definitely a good thing to know. And then these here are pencils that I purchased a long time ago. Unfortunately, I haven't got a swatch of these either. These are the Mikado Colourish pencils. So I used to watch Peter Hewitt a long time ago. Um, she's the one who got me into colouring. I used to watch her and think, like we all did, and think, oh gosh, I wish I could colour like Peter. And um, she used to um, talk a lot about these pencils uh, and she had a set of these and she, she loved them. So... I think they are an Australian brand. They are quite soft. I've not got a swatch, unfortunately. They are quite soft. They do blend nicely. Um, and there's some lovely colours in them. Let's have a look at this dark blue, see how dark it is. See, that to me is not that dark. If you look here, the colour. That's so much lighter than the barrel. Um, this is like almost, almost black. And that is not so yeah yeah if you know any sets with really dark colors um, let me know because that's what that's something that I would really like of course you've got the dark colors in light fast and luminance but they're just such expensive pencils and then finally I have a I think that Mikador one was 36 pencils and then these are 36 of the polycolor Kohinoor pencils. Um, these are all right. I mean, I don't love them. They are harder pencils. Um, they work relatively all right. They're not bad pencil. They're just not... I just don't really use them. And I have used them, like, on occasion. I do really like some of the shades of browns and greens. But, um, yeah, they, I'm not as enthusiastic about these um, polycolours than I, that, than I am with, say, the Black Edition pencils. Um, so, yeah, those are just some random smaller set pencils that I have. So that's that. So I'm going to have a little break now and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I'm going to show you a few more pencils in my collection and then I think I'm going to leave this video as a part one for my pencil collection and then do a second part two for coloured pencil collections because um, I don't want this video to be too long only because I don't want to upload issues uh, which will give me quite a little bit of a headache. So, yeah... Um, I hope that's all right and I won't take too long hopefully to to come out with the pencil collection part two so um I think I wonder if you remember that I said I was getting my like sort of a craft room lounge sorted out but it's not fully sorted out I have started with it um and so near where I sit and do my filming I've put some pencils in pots that are just nail me so that I can use them so they're just available for me to use so let me sort of show you what I've got so in here I have the um, metallic where are they the Derwent metallic turquoise I think there's 20 of these pencils now 
can't remember if I've got a swatch of those. I can have a quick little check. Um, this just shows that I've actually still got a fair number of pencils to swatch. No, I do apologise. I haven't got a swatch of those. So these are the metallic pencils. Um, they, they are really nice. I mean, I'll show you a few of them because why not? Bring you in a little bit. Yeah, they, they are lovely. Now, from all the metallic pencils I've got, I have to say, these are probably the best. Um, they're not, I mean, pencils are never going to be, metallic pencils are never going to be as shiny as, say, uh, metallic gel pens or... And I find metallic gel pens are the ones that are most metallic, um, whereas, whereas um, pencils are the least metallic. But there is a sheen... Um, so still quite nice so I do really like these so in here I have 20 of those and then I also have in there the Kohinoor uh, Tritone pencils now I really like using these just as you know for special effects where you know you've got you can make sort of for you know for brickwork on on um, and stonework you just keep rotating the pencil like this and you get what you get basically because it is quite random how it lays down but you've got those three colours in there so I really like them um, I mean it's more obvious with some pencils than others and yeah I, I quite like these um, so this is like a greenish blend one and then there's this one here as well and you just rotate the pencil basically they basically the slimmer version of the um, what they call the magic pencils the Kohinoor magic pencils and these are again by Kohinoor as well so that's that set um, that I have and then bring you out a little again and then I have in here this other big pencil pot I have some spare Holbein whoops some spare Holbein pastel pencils because the very first pencils I got was a 12 set of Holbein pastels and then um, I bought the 50 set after which I bought the 100 set of the actual Holbein set and then made you made my set up to 150 using um, using open stock and then I've also got the Castle Arts pastel pencils and I think there's 50 of those so these are just easy to hand you know just like special effect pencils so when I quickly need to finish a page off they're just to hand so have I got um pastel tint sorry there's 48 of the pastel tints so 78 and maybe show you these so here they are the castle art pastel tint pencils they are really nice i do really like them um some nice colors in there i do prefer the castle art pastel tints to the to the pastel o pencils that i showed earlier um, but I also have to say the Brute Funa Macarons are, you know, they look very similar to the to the Holbeins and I think they are quite nice. So that I think the Brute Funa Macarons are cheaper. So if um, you were to choose, well, if I were to choose between them, I'd say go for the Brute Funa Macarons. If you were to ask me which ones, I'd go for the Brute Funa Macarons because I think you've got a really nice pastel set. Uh, for a lower price as well um, and then I have these gorgeous pencils which are the uni Posca pencils so I really don't understand why these pencils are so expensive but I did treat myself to them some time ago they are just so they're so pigmented you can't layer a lot with them, I have to say, though. I think they only take, like, three layers. Three or four layers, and then they've had enough. But they're so pigmented. They're so opaque. They have a beautiful, oily 
a smooth lay down um, some beautiful colours and I'm just sort of trying them out there but I think I do have a swatch of them uh, somewhere I must have swatched them yes I did 93 at the price that they come I would definitely need to swatch these so these are those they are very pigmented as you can tell they are really nicely pigmented um, they're just so expensive and I really don't think they should be that expensive um, beautiful don't get me wrong and, and I did get spares of these three shades because they're my favorite like browns and look you do get nice dark colors actually yeah you do fairly dark not as dark as I'd like them but the darkest I've probably seen in a set so um, yeah they are beautiful pencils and then I've gotten the 24 again the 24 set of the Lyra grooves which are there so those are some more of the pencils that I have now I am going to leave it here um, for part one coloured pencils um, I really hope you don't mind that this is not an ultra long video it's just to help with the um, upload you know to prevent issues so I will be back with my um, coloured pencil collection part two soon until next time guys take care hope you enjoy this video and until next time bye